Hey, I'm Jeff, and welcome back to another video. Like the title says, I will no longer be using these round DIY moss poles. I know a lot of people use them with really good success, but they're just not working out the way that I want them to. So I'll be replacing them in favor of these plastic moss poles. So I'm gonna talk about the reasons why I'm making this switch throughout this video. So let's get started. So the main reason why I'm swapping out this type of moss pole, you can see it is open air 360 degrees around the pole is because it dries out way too fast. I've tried a different watering technique I've used my garden sprayer to uh, spray the moss down. I've used the bottle on the top, letting it uh, slowly drip down, uh, saturating the moss, and it still dries out like within a day. It is absolutely bone dry, and even at 50% uh, room air humidity downstairs, it just dries out way too fast, and I don't know how people keep them uh, consistently wet or moist. I don't have a ton of time throughout the day to individually water each one, because um, I have a lot of uh, moss poles and planks and it just, it takes up a lot of time. So what I found with these plastic ones is the back is completely covered. So whenever I water the moss, it tends to stay a little bit more moist than it is with uh, this type, just because there's not as much of the moss exposed to air, I guess. Um, so it doesn't dry out as fast. This one might, I might have to water it like every couple days or it uh, dries out in a couple of days. I just undid the plant tie. The aerial roots are in contact with the moss and it looks like it's starting to grow into the moss just slightly, but uh, overall I'm not really happy with the results. Um, it's been on here for a couple months and really nothing. Now I wanna show you this beautiful philodendron Tahiti in the plastic one. Look at these roots. This is insane. If you've been following my channel for a while now, you know that at the start, I really wasn't a fan of the moss, but since using these plastic moss poles, it, it changed my view. I am a believer now. Um, so yeah, that's why I wanted to try this uh, DIY round method, but uh, I'm ditching that in favor of these uh, plastic moss poles. So the nice thing about a moss pole in comparison to a plant on a plank is that the moss is actually an extension of their growing medium. You can see those roots grow into the moss, they obtain moisture and nutrients. Whereas if you have a plant on a plank, that uh, plank itself is basically just used as a support system and the moisture nutrients are primarily from the soil. It may get a little bit of kind of ambient humidity uh, through the aerial roots on the planks like this, uh, Golden Pothos and my Marble Queen over there. So the next reason why I will not be using these again is it actually takes quite a bit of time to assemble these. I bought a larger roll of chicken wire and you basically have to measure it in order to uh, size it properly or get the appropriate size. Um, so that does take some time. I had to use some uh, tin snips or some wire cutters um, for this chicken wire. And the reason why I use chicken wire is it actually provides much more uh, support in comparison to those uh, like hard plastic ones. So it can be a little bit difficult to uh, kind of snip it off and it is a little bit hazardous because it has very sharp edges. Ow. It's not hard, but it does take time. Whereas if you have those plastic moss poles, it comes in a sheet like this. You fold the corners around and then you just insert the tabs into their appropriate slots. And it literally takes a matter of a few seconds and your moss pole is ready to go. So that is a huge factor why I like using these moss poles and they look nice too. So those are the two reasons why I'm not gonna use this type of pole anymore. Now I'm not saying that you guys shouldn't either. It just doesn't work for me. So this is just my opinion on this type of moss pole. I love this, uh, this plastic one and it works really well for my environment and the humidity that I have. So now I'm gonna take my varicosum off the round moss pole and put it on the plastic one. Also, if you're looking for free chicken wire or a chicken wire moss pole, uh, let me know because I ain't using this anymore. I'll probably just give it away on one of my local plant pages. So first I'm going to take off the wire here and I will be reusing this moss. I'm going to kind of rehydrate it and then I'll use it in the, uh, the plastic moss pole. So I will be reusing it because it ain't cheap. Oh, I was really hoping that the aerial roots would have grown into the moss because I do want to propagate this. The stem at the bottom of the pole is really thin and as it grows or matures it gets a thicker stem so i was hoping that i was able to propagate the top portion basically just uh, chop and prop it into a different container and then i could make uh, more 
uh, varicose implants. But I'm going to have to wait because it didn't work. So now I'm just pulling this out of the container. I did add some soil at the bottom of the moss pole just so the roots could grow into that type of growing medium. Now I'm hoping, okay. Okay, uh, there was a panic there for a minute. It looks like there may be a little bit of root rot on this. So the roots definitely grew into the aeroid soil portion at the bottom. So I'm going to have to lightly pull the two apart. Okay, I'm going to, without hitting my camera, I'm going to lay that down. Actually, the roots look pretty good. I got kind of panicked there for a minute. So overall, the roots look decent. There was just a couple right here not looking the greatest. I, uh, it's looking a little bit brown, a little bit mushy, but the rest of them, pretty decent roots. As I'm kind of dismantling this moss wool, another reason why I don't like this particular one is, I don't know if you can see it, but any, anytime you touch it, it gets all these little moss fibers falling. I don't know if you can see them, but they're, I just tap the pole and all these little fibers they, uh, they fall off the moss pool, whereas I find that doesn't happen with the plastic ones because it's pretty much fully contained. So when I water it, a lot of the uh, little pieces of moss will just fall off onto the floor. That doesn't happen with the plastic ones because it's almost fully enclosed. So yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not going to miss this type of moss pool. My basement is already a huge mess. I did remove a few of these zip ties, but missed the one at the top here. So I'm just gonna slice this off and then be careful not to injure your finger. And I'm just taking the moss out. I'm just gonna put it in this Tupperware container for now. And I'm not kidding, this stuff is sharp. So I'm just gonna remove as much as I can. Dump it in there. That way I can reuse it. So I gotta... It actually takes quite a bit of moss for these, uh, these larger poles, so. Yeah, I shouldn't be using my pruning shears. They're just going to get really dull, but I have to buy a new set anyway. So just open those up. Okay, that should be enough moss for the new pole. I'm going to just place the moss just in the top here. And I like to use a bamboo skewer or pencil, whatever it is. I don't, well, I guess a pencil is not going to be this long, but I'm just going to poke it down to the bottom. I know some people place the moss on the unassembled uh, plastic pole and then they just place it along the, like lay it on the, the table like this, place the moss and then just kind of fold it up like a little burrito. I like to do it this way. Might take a little bit more time, but um, I find I can contain the mess in this, uh, in this Tupperware container for the most part. Just drop that down and I can pack it down fairly snug, filling in any air gaps. Off camera, I just tied it to the moss pole. I did kind of pre-measure, so I want the root ball sitting at the bottom of the pot and then I just roughly placed where I want the moss pole so I can easily just place the soil in the bottom of the container. The nice thing about this specific grow pole or this moss pole is it actually has these little tabs at the bottom where when you push them in, it is a support. So none of the growing medium falls out the bottom. So I don't have to worry about any of the moss falling out. And then I can also add a little bit of the aeroid mixture into the lower portion there as I pot it up in the, uh, in the container here. Now, if you want the moss pole to be really stable, you can actually pop these tabs outwards. So it acts as basically an anchor. You can't pull it out, but I'm not worried about it falling out. And if I do, then I can just place a, like a support stake at the, or through the bottom, or sorry, through the back of the, of the pole and that way it goes right down into the uh, into the pot and it just adds more stability but i'm not too concerned about it once i start adding in my aeroid mixture just in the bottom there it should be pretty stable now for the final assembly i am primarily using it's like a maybe like a 60 40 or 70 30 so 70 percent 
of Promix's orchid bark uh, with some tropical uh, soil or, or potting mix. And that's basically what I use for most of my aeroids. I find the orchid bark, um, perlite, and um, charcoal just provide a really airy mixture. So I'm gonna place a little bit, I'm just kind of mixing it up. So I have a nice soil consistency like that. It's got a lot of uh, orchid pieces. So I'm just gonna kind of mix that in with some of the older soil. And I'm gonna put a little bit I'm going to try to into the bottom of the moss bowl. So I'm just going to put a bunch, I don't know if I can actually, I'm just going to try and stuff some in there as best as I can, something like that. And then place this in the pot. It ain't going to be pretty. Some of it might fall out, but that's okay. Actually it's staying fairly upright. So now I'm just resting the roots at the bottom and now I'm just dumping in the soil. Where's my pencil? Every, every video I lose my pencil. I like to use a pencil, here it is, to poke down the soil around the roots, just kind of covering up or filling in any air gaps. I can adjust this a little bit better uh, once the, uh, the soil is kind of around the pole here. I gotta put a little bit at the back just for stability. Hopefully this is the final repot for this plant until I have to uh, extend it, uh, propagate it. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Okay, I cleaned up the area, gave it a little bit of water to help settle the soil. I can tell already that this has way better contact with the aerial roots than the, uh, the other pole did. So I'm really excited about how this is going to grow. And obviously I'll provide some updates, but otherwise I think that's gonna be pretty much it for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave it down below in the comment section. Thanks for watching all my videos. Take care everyone, bye. <music>